Hello all you hardcore boxing fans out there, how are you doing? It's Big Porky here. The voice of hardcore boxing. How are you all doing? Well okay. I hope you're all well. Oh. Um, all our things in it, I suppose. What do you reckon? Reckon it's an improvement, eh? Is it an improvement? The voice of hardcore boxing. Right, uh well. There's never a dull moment when you're running a YouTube channel or working in the boxing industry. Uh, working in this heat is a nightmare. Business partner owns an air conditioning company and look at me, I'm saturated here. I don't even know how to work fan here. Is it an heater fan or a cool fan or what? I don't know but uh, let's get straight down to business shall we? Let's get straight down to business. 42% the videos are uploading from the yard a Sunday was it too early for him video uh, Steffi Bull gets a mention in it with Ryan Rhodes the dream team hashtag levels uh, I don't know if it's going to be a dream team or what uh, my opinion is this partnerships sink ships Whenever anybody mentions partnerships to me, I always say partnerships sink ships. Always remember that. Anybody who's ever been business partners with anybody, they sink ships where there's money involved. When it gets to the money, that's where the problems arise. But uh, let's uh, have a little flick through. Let's have a flick through and see if we can come up with some something to chat about today. Uh, what is happening to boxing at the moment? Fighters are fighting for world titles and getting knocked out. Fighters fighting for world titles and getting knocked out is one thing, but when they only have beaten D and E list fighters. I mean, is it the first nine out of ten? The first ten opponents at Anthony Yards, nine of them had undefeated records. So, what has he learned in the last eight fights going into the Kovalev fight? He's learned nothing, has he, because he's been protected. He was protected now. I don't know if this is true, but I've heard that they've had step aside money before. You don't quote me on that because. I can't seem to find anything online, but I do know in the boxing industry, Frank Warren is known as Mr. Step Aside Money. That's Billy Joe Saunders. Do you know, do you know what I mean? And uh, it is what it is, isn't it? Do you know what I mean? But uh, he's only fought D list guys, you know, and only have, he's only got an area level belt to his record. You know, he's got put to one side in bank or whatever you want to call it. Something is wrong. Sooner or later, somebody's going to get hurt. Which brings me back to the David Allen situation, aka chat shit get paid. What else was walking around in t shirts? Chat shit, you get paid. Is this now the era where. People chat shit on social media, and I should know that, I chat enough of it, don't I? Chat shit, get paid. Whatever happened to the Clinton Woods, Carl Froch method? Hard work and dedication, blood, sweat, tears, and more tears, putting yourself through endless, endless, endless battles. Or do we do it the Anthony Yard way? I mean, how do you have 18 fights and you average 2.9 rounds per fight? Now, if you're, if you're Anthony Yard, right, you're going to fight Kovalev. 
and you're averaging 2.9 rounds for every fight you've had before you fight Kovalev. So 18 fights, 2.9 rounds. If I get time next week, I'll tell you exactly how many minutes he's been in the ring. Anthony Yard. And let me tell you, it's, it's, it's under two hours. Now, this is how I look at it. When you're in that ring, 2.9 rounds, every round for 18 fights, 51 rounds, and you're going into face Kovalev, you can't have learned anything. You would have only had to learn it in the gym. So I don't buy all that. They don't spar and they only do this pad work and all that. No, I don't, I don't buy any of that. Yard A can punch like a mule. He's a very powerful puncher. Nigel Ben was. But he never had a jab either, did he? But Nigel Ben used to spy. He spied everybody. But I, I'm just trying to think now. Why would you put Yard A in with... Kovalev after 51 rounds it doesn't add up how you can do that I mean is this what system 9 is system 9 this system 9 well what is it exactly what is system 9 I don't know I don't know but uh, it's starting it's starting to annoy me it's starting to annoy me it's starting to annoy me. I uh, just remembered some of Anna. Uh, them videos, them videos are on the way, right? I've sent the uh, the first batch, the snooker, just the snooker shot one. Slip them in. Slip them in every ten minutes. You know, one of them. Just it's only just popping a snooker ball, isn't it? But some of them send emails saying they like it. What it does, it just breaks it up a bit so they're not just seeing the same thing at the old time, me sat in the chair talking boxing. You know, some of them might like snooker, I don't know. We, we might end up going down snooker path in the end, I don't know, but just slip it in and it, it's a bit different, isn't it? Every 10 minutes, right? There's 14 videos, so if you put one in every 10 minutes, right? Then you've got. The titles now, I forgot the, the something else that I wanted to put in title. You put the title as Yarde Tunde, was it to was he rushed? That's it. Yarde and Tun Yarde Dash Tunde, was he rushed? Uh, the underneath that you can put for the rest of the title uh Bullcroft and Rhodes, the dream team. And uh, and then underneath that, put. Uh, do you know what? I've just forgotten now. It's not. It's come. It'll come back to me. It'll come back to me in a minute. I forgot what's put for the third part, but it'll come back to me in a minute. Okay. Should have wrote that down, shouldn't I? But uh, but yeah. Well, well, they rushed. Maybe you were rushed. Oh, that's it. System nine, isn't it? Uh, Third part of, uh, title, System 9, yeah? Alright. System 9, so... Main title, Tunde, Yarde, was it Yard Tunde? Or just, no, in fact, main title put Anthony Yard, was he rushed? And then the rest of the title that is written needs to be... Uh, Bullcroft and Rhodes. Uh, I like to call people by the proper names, Nicholas. Steffi Bull's name is Andrew Bullcroft. Not Bull, I don't know where he's getting this from. Just put Bullcroft slash Rhodes, the dream team. And then underneath that, put System 9. Alright, because it really keeps going on about this System 9. Right, what is System 9? I, I don't know, is it is it something to do with moon landings or something? I don't know, it's, is it some high tech thing that only certain people know about? I don't know what this System 9 is, but what I think it is, is doing something different and off the cuff. Now, I'm a big fan of things like that because I've always done things my own way in my life. Now. It don't always mean to say it's the right way because I'm a prick, aren't I? But I admit it, don't I? But 
I don't. I haven't got anything against people thinking outside the box because in my life I thought outside the box all the time, and every now and then we strike gold, don't we? People will think outside the box. If Tunde Ajayi's fighter finished off Kovalev in the eighth round, he's a genius. Because he didn't, he's going to get hammered on social media. I'm not hammering him, I'm just telling a story, aren't I? Does he need hammering? Maybe a little bit, he does rub people up the wrong way. But if you believe in something, why not? Why not? Alex Higgins, the late, great Alex Higgins, the snooker player, always used to say this, you know when you're getting your head down to your shot, and you're going to pot it, before you pot the ball, visualise it, visualise the ball going in the bag. Alright, visualise it. And he used to do that when he, when he, because obviously he used to have breaks from the game all the time because he'd be going out getting drunk or bookies and card games and late nights. So his touch wasn't always right, but every now and then he could pick a cue up and, you know, could be knocking under breaks in every other frame. Now, so when his touch were bad, he used to, vi he used to say, visualise it going in, visualise. That's when you're struggling to get your touch right. Now, I can understand Tunde Ajayi backing his man, Anthony Yard, because... Look at this out here, I'll just go out there and start... I'll go out there and start flogging people in here. Unbelievable. Tractors going by here now. I'd be better, I'd be better off at Den's office, wouldn't I? I'd be better off getting my old office back up at Den's. Michelle, get my office ready. But no, getting back to uh, Yarde and Tunde, we'll finish up on this now. I think that maybe, maybe they could have waited a little bit, but they, they took the chance. But I don't believe for one minute Frank Warren knocked back one million dollars. Don't believe it. It's never happened. You're knocking it back, but yet you've got it in writing that you can fight in February. Don't believe it. Don't believe it one for one minute at all. One million dollars. Don't believe it. Frank, hashtag do me a favour. No way am I having that, Frank. At all. No way at all. Uh. No way at all. What's this here? I just bumped into here. Uh, Gavin McDonald, Nathan Kirk. You know. The, is that System 9? Steffi, are you doing System 9 now? Now, I have heard a little bit about this System 9, but until Tunde comes out and clarifies it, I don't know. It's just hearsay, isn't it? I mean, I don't want to get into all for repeating gossip or talking shit or making shit up. Otherwise, friends of mine might be logging it. We have to be responsible for what we say, don't we? Accountable. But no, what I do think is this. System 9 is protect your fighter at all costs, get as much money as you can, and don't put him in risk. Risky fights, for example, Carl Froch. I don't like to go back to Carl Froch all the time, but because I know him well and I know his career well, he took the hard fights, didn't he? Right, he had the hard fights. Now he'll pay for that in later life, but he knows that now. But he's worth why well, all these properties and that. He won't mind me saying this. And he's worth about twenty-five million pound. Twenty-five million. Now that's not bad, is it? That's not bad at all. Uh, so. That's not bad at all. So that phone number that I've got uh, for Jose Burton's have changed it. So I'm gonna have to uh, get another number and get to speak to Jose Burton. I want to get Jose Burton a bit of PR on the channel. Do you know why? I was looking at his career last night and I think, do you know what? He's had a bit of a raw deal, Jose Burton, hasn't he? So I'm looking to do a bit with Jose Burton, uh, but the thing is with interviews and things like that, I should have been on with, on with Cash Alley today, but people 
other things come up, don't they? And the, you can always tell the dedi the boxers that are not the most dedicated and who don't keep appointments, or the people around them don't keep appointments. They don't tend to go all the way, do they? If you've got an appointment with Carl Frotch at four o'clock, he meets you at four o'clock if he's in camp. Regimented is the key. Liam Cameron, he's another one, he, he's never on time. And where, where do these people go in their careers? I don't know. But, but getting back to that, I think Yard were rushed. And I think that he fought bravely, but he was taking punishment. He was taking punishment left, right and centre. Taking punishment left, right and centre. Which brings me to Dave Allen. I mean, Dave Allen takes a lot of punishment, doesn't he? And, you know, chat shit, get paid. You know him? Is that the era that we're coming into now? The chat shit, get paid era. Is that the era that we're in? Where you chat a load of shit on social media, like Billy Nelson. You've got this guy here that's the best thing since sliced bread, Martin Bacoli. And then he quit, didn't he? You know what I mean? So, I don't know. I, I, look, I look at you like this. Once a quitter, always a quitter. Once you've quit like that, you always know that you can just stop it at any time. You never saw Frotch do that. And Anthony Yard never quit as well, let me tell you. He didn't quit. I don't think Joshua was a quitter, but he quit against Ruiz, didn't he, because... Silk pyjama. It's the old silk, silk pyjamas, isn't it? Why do I need to do this when I'm worth 120 million? Now, take Dave Allen, as I just said, for example. What is he doing with his career? 17 wins, 5 losses, 2 draws. Out of the 5 losses, 2 of the draws. 5 losses and 2 draws. They're the blemishes, aren't they? One draw were against a plumber that Dennis matched him with when he was with us. The other draw were against Lenroy Thomas when he got cut in second round and he'd lost the third round so he didn't win any he didn't win a round in that one he won two rounds against the, the Latvian plumber or Hungarian plumber so that's two rounds and then you've got in the Lenroy Thomas fight itself he won three rounds so that's five rounds he's won out of the blemishes on his of his seven blemishes then you've got Ortiz, White, Yoker and David Price. He didn't win around in any of them fights. Now when you're fighting White, Ortiz, Yoka and Price, they're some of the biggest punchers in world boxing. Them guys there are top 10 punchers in world heavyweight boxing. Them guys there will fit in the top 10. Yoki, Tony Yoko punched the life out of Joe Joyce's ribs. So what did he do to his head? Now, if he can do that to Joe Joyce, what were he doing to Dave Allen? Dave Allen took punishment off him for half an hour. Same with Dillian White. Same with Luis Ortiz. Well, that was seven rounds. So you've got there 30, 12, 22, 23, 10 with Price, one at 32, 7. You've got 39 rounds there, that's two hours. If somebody comes up to you and says, I'm going to punch your brains in, I'm a big puncher, I'm a world renowned puncher. Dillian White, Ortiz, Southport Ortiz, David Price, oh my god, lifted Joshua off his feet when he knocked him out. And then you've got Yoka, he's, tall, he's as tall as David Price, 6 foot 7, 18 stone. He's Olympic gold. When you're taking punishment like that, and then you're running around like with big thick glasses on, like this, big thick bins, looking like a bacon. You're running around with bins on like that, like that, like brick top, and you're saying, "I do, I do, I do, I do, I do, I do, I do." I see what Eddie's got to say. He's my mate. Is Eddie Earn Dave Allen's mate now? I'm just trying to shake him into life to get the most out of his talents, but is Eddie Hearn Dave Allen's friend? He's had two hours worth of beatdowns in four fights. Four fights, 39 rounds, two hours. Ortiz, White, Yoker. 
Otis White, Yoker and David Price. There's four losses. The other loss, Lenroy Thomas. He landed a fair few on Dave as well, but that fight where I had that fight with David winning. Carl Froch had him winning by seven, but maybe maybe he didn't. I don't know, but Lenroy Thomas and Dave Allen went 12 rounds. So it was his punishment there, isn't it? And he was a southpaw as well, but but when you've got the other guys, you've got 39 rounds of just poundings. At least David won a couple of rounds against Lenroy Thomas. Now, will Dave Allen get to fight again on Sky? I've heard yes. I've heard he's going to be on Sky this year. So he's going to be out soon on Sky. So that's good, isn't it? So he's going to be on Sky again. But what happens if David Allen gets seriously hurt? What's going to happen then? Is it going to affect everybody in the boxing industry? Now Dave were putting tweets out saying he's, had, he's been in bad health 18 months and if he died or we had another Michael Watson on our hands where he, he's not died but he's seriously hurt would people say to the British Boxing Board of Control that Now if David Allen dies Right, oops if David Allen dies in a ring, or if he gets seriously hurt, who's to blame at Sky? Who is to blame? Somebody's going to be to blame, aren't they? Feel how hot that is. Somebody's going to be to blame, aren't they? If David Allen dies, somebody has got to stand up and be accountable, aren't they? Uh, 63%. Uh, so, so somebody's got to be accountable, but who? Who will it be? Will it be young Frank Smith, who I like and I'm in touch with? Will it be Eddie Hearn, who I'm like that? I'm not keen on Eddie Hearn, I think he's a bit of a bully. But he is good for boxing, he's a character, isn't he? But I don't like how he goes about his business. I don't mind his dad. And I'm not in touch with Eddie now. Unless it's uh, via email every now and then when I'm ranting off. But, Will Eddie Hearn be to blame? Will Mr Bean Adam Smith be to blame? Tough, ruthless, rugged, popular, David Allen. Great story, great story. Classy operator he's in with tonight in David Price. Classy operator, but David Allen's tough. What's Price got left? And as Alan got the one punch knockout, he's very funny on Twitter. Look, will Mr. Bean be to blame? No, he won't. What Mr. Bean will do, he will write a chapter about it in his book. Beautiful Brutality, part two. With a foreword by Dave Allen's dad talking about how he visits Dave Allen in hospital every other week because of what Sky did to him. Thanking Sky for, 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 for helping him out. They had a whip round for him. It's okay, we'll have a whip round for Dave Allen. We'll have a whip round for him. When Scott, West were, Scott Westgarth died, Sky had a whip round for him, didn't they? Away in, everybody chipped in. I thought that were a nice touch. But we didn't know that Scott Westgarth, bless him, God may he rest in peace. We didn't know that Scott Westgarth were gonna die, did we? You know, he was in a tough fight, we didn't know that. Now, he was in good health before he fought that fight. David Allen's telling us he's not in good health. He hasn't been for 18 months. So if David Allen fights again, what does that make? What does it make the, the establishment? By the establishment, I mean the Hearns, they are the establishment. They are in boxing. I mean, look what they put Alex Higgins through over years in, in snooker. They had him banned for a, a year or so, and then another year they took... The only time Alex Higgins ended up number one in the world rankings was in 1983, 82-83. And uh, he was number one for one day, and then he had a disappearing and it overlapped, so it put him down to number two. So Steve Davis ended up number one, didn't he? So, makes you wonder if somebody were on phone telling tales about Alex Higgins, doesn't it, and what he were up to. Because he kept getting done for, he kept 
they kept chipping away to him for drug tests and things like that, didn't they? Dirty game, innit? But who's to say that Barry Hearn won't tell him tales about Alex Higgins? We don't know, do we? Hey, we don't know, do we? But that's another story. I could go on to that one for ages because he's my favourite player. But getting back to this, Dave Allen. Dave Allen fights again. All the signs are there. Now, Dave Allen lived a few doors away from me for a good number of years. So I know him very, very well. If Dave Allen gets hurt on a Sky show, well, I want you all to remember this channel. Why well, I'm the only one that's coming out saying anything. Nobody else wants to say anything. Nobody. Did you notice how I put a tweet out the other day? Somebody asked me what did I think about Ryan Rhodes, Steffi Ball partnering up. I just put partnerships sink ships. That's it. Them impressions on that were over a, a thousand in 48 minutes. 1,000 impressions in 48 minutes. How's about that? But nobody had, nobody had tweeted. Nobody had, nobody had put a tweet to it. Do you know why that is? So all people are working boxing industry. They don't want to rock the fucking boat. What about this B sample? Dillian White. Eh? Hey, what about this? What about this with David Allen? What's he have to say about it? Let's have a look. Let's have a look what the white rhino has got to say about it. Watch this now. Hang on a minute. Listen to this. Listen to this. I get it up. Does help if you've got your bins on rust. Just listen to this and I'm going to show you this is what you're up against. Look at all them there. Look at all the snooker shots. Unbelievable. I'm obsessed. I'm obsessive. Are you listening? Listen to this. And you got it turned off. Oh, it must have got turned off, is it? Basically, what I was pointing out is that nobody wants to say anything, do they? Here we are. Absolutely no thoughts on that, and I will give no thoughts on it. My only thoughts are, and I said this to Ace when I said, I don't know what I'm saying, you're talking to him, you're going to be, uh, you're going to be innocent or proven guilty. We'll see what comes out of the wash, it will all come out over time. We will see who's in the right, who's in the wrong, who did what, who did what, who did not do what, and whatever else. We will see. Until then, I have no comment because I don't really know what's going on. And if I make comment, I'll be a bit of a dick because I ain't got a clue what's going on. Dave Allen, don't worry. Thank you, everyone. Dave Allen don't want to comment because he's a bit of a dick, he's saying. He's saying he's a bit of a dick. Thank you everybody just, just for uh, being on the journey and hopefully we'll continue for a little while longer, not too much longer, for a little while longer. Thank you very much. That's all then. So that's Dave Allen's view on Dillian White. He's obviously sparred Dillian White and he gets paid for doing that. Dillian White's a Sky fighter, by the way, and David Allen is doesn't have a deal with Sky, but he's a Sky fighter. He won't work with Frank Warren. If Frank Warren rings him up, he'll go through somebody else to ring him and speak to his manager. David will then get straight in touch with Eddie and say, "Oh, they've offered me this," because that's what David's like, isn't it? He? He's honest, isn't he? He's honest. He wants to do it by the book, and I agree with him. Because if you're working with Eddie, you want to be loyal to Eddie, don't you? But, like I've just said to you now, it's, uh, it's interesting, it's very, very interesting. And I've got Dave Colwell here now, what's he have to say? Yeah, we've got to... You've got to know the fact that we can go for the point of the when they went, like I say, when you know from there, it's hard to, it's hard to... Go on at it until you know it's hard to go at it until you know they've done wrong. 
So basically, as Dave Corwell bottled it, as he bottled it from saying anything about the Dillian White situation, let's see what Eduardo has got to say. Is, 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 so at the moment, he's just going to do it. Right? His case is his case. He will deal with his case. Nothing to do with it, I'll do the show. Right. There you go. Nothing to do with Eddie. That's like passing the book, innit? Nothing to do with Eddie. He's passed the book. The Yarrow Miller one was something to do with Eddie, wasn't it? Because when Yarrow Miller failed, Eddie had plenty to say about it then, about the dangers of uh, drug use and this and that, but it looks like it's all gone missing, doesn't it? This this drug issue is all, all it's all gone now, and it? It's gone. There's nothing we can do about it now. It's gone, and that's it. It's long gone. And, you know, and I'm hearing. Well, I wasn't going to say anything, but I might as well say it today, right? Listen to this one. If you if you were to beat Pool F at weekend, then he will beat him. Yui Fury, right, he's going to fight Dillian White. That's about that. I couldn't help me send on that one, I'm sorry, but Yui's going to fight Dillian White and it's going to be on pay per view. Now, if Dillian White had a pay per view in England and it were against somebody like Takem or Parker, second fight with Parker, they'd be hell on, wouldn't they? Because Dillian is Jamaican. Parker's New Zealand and they'd be saying Dillian White's getting his fifth pay-per-view and all that, wouldn't they? And Carl Froch only had three and everybody would be screaming about it and nobody wants to see Dillian White not earning. and he's got family and he's got kids and he? and he's got baby ting to, to feed, hasn't he? But this is how I look at it, right? This is how I look at it. If Dillian White fights Huey, that's a great fight, isn't it? Now, people like me and people like Terry Chop and Dharma I feel boxing, people like Ultratech Sports Raw and who was that guy who was always hanging out at the back of Eddie's ass? what's he called, Sporting Icons, him, and Hatman Strikes Back, do you know what, I'm warming to Hatman at the moment, all them people who do YouTube accounts and all the media, we'll all forget won't we that Dillian White's got a pending drug investigation going on, his second one. We'll all forget about that, because everybody will say, well, you is, uh, you is had an issue in the past, hasn't he? You is had an issue, so why, why should it bother him? Everybody will get around to thinking, well, there's no smoke without fire, but you has been done. So that's how it will go down. That's how it will go down. But if you if Fury beats Povetkin, well, you heard it here first, he gets Dillian White. Now, if Povetkin beats Yui Fury, then you've got a problem, aren't you, Povetkin against... Povetkin against Dillian White is going to be a problem, isn't it? Because Povetkin's been done more than once, and he's Russian. Dillian's Jamaican. Jamaican. Now, I've got Dillian to beat Povetkin. Now, Dillian last year called Yui Fury when I were in camp with Yui for the for the Sexton fight. He were calling Yui a crackhead, and you know it, it didn't go down too well. But then I saw Yui and his dad defending Dillian White a couple of weeks ago. They this time we've we matched with him, so I don't know what all all that's about. But Dillian White against Yui Fury is. A good fight but Dillian White needs to start telling the, the true story about what happened when he sparred Yui because Yui did really really well against him now, I know it was a few years ago but Yui did well against him now but Yui against Dillian White that's a good fight now would I have to go on my channel and scream about the drug issue Peter Fury's a mate of mine isn't he and his son's gonna be fighting him would I do that yeah I probably would uh, would I get a slap off Peter? No, I wouldn't. People keep having a little dig in the comments section about my relationship with Peter Fury. I don't see Peter that much, but I'm in touch with him daily. But we just laugh about all your comments. I, I send him and he laughs. So keep them comments coming because it shows you're watching, doesn't it? But 
this is how this is how Eddie would have to do it. He'd have to say, God, we're gonna get some grief here with this with Dillian White. Who can we put Dillian in with now at Christmas? Who's uh Oh, 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 and, and it could be pay-per-view and they won't kick off about it because of this. It'd have to be somebody that's had a drug issue and it'd have to be a domestic. It can only be you, he can't it? Or, this is what I think they'll do and I don't know about this. I have heard something about the, Dill uh, the Dillian White against Yui. If Yui beats Povetkin, I've heard that he's going to fight Dillian White on Sky pay-per-view. But, I've heard they don't want Povetkin fight, so I can understand that, but look at look at this one, look at this one. How about David Price? David Price, domestic, and he's been beat by drug cheats in the past, against Dillian White, who's knee deep in a drug, t drug test scandal, and he's got one from past. I know it was over, over at a counter thing. I think we have to give Dillian Dillian benefit of doubt for that. Now you're going to make Dillian White a massive, massive, massive favourite in that fight. But then we're going to hear all this about David Price that if he hits you, he's going to do some damage. Now David Price has not really hit anybody for seven years. Last person he connected with hard were Audley Harrison. And Audley Harrison. There you go, we know what he is, don't we? What don't we? But he was European champion and David Price has never done that. But Audley Harrison was the last person that Pricey knocked out. Now if Pricey fights Dillian White, he's gonna come out with things like he's better than ever, he's got experience, he hates drug cheats. That's how they'd sell it. And they'd sell it with a Joshua carrot, wouldn't they? But David Price would get his one and only pay-per-view against Dillian White and he'd get took out. Dillian White beats him, he'd take him out. But David Price would be coming out with things like it's the new David Price and you saw what I did to Dave Allen and all that, wouldn't you? That's how he'd sell it. And, you know, Dave Allen didn't win around against him. I just got behind my jab and David Price would say anything. He'd fuck a snake. He'd do anything. As long as he gets on pay-per-view. And that's just how boxing's gonna go at the moment, isn't it? Uh, and this is what I was just pointing out to in my video, videos today. The things that, that's going on in boxing at the moment that I don't like. I mean, Smiddo. Well, Smiddo sent me a, a, a text earlier on today. And I don't think Smiddo would mind me putting this voice text on. Uh, I'd have to ask him first. But... Uh, because Smiddo's a contribution on Boxing Asylum, isn't he? Let me see if we can put this on. So I like Smiddo. He's alright, Smiddo. He's a proper bloke. Proper man's man. Smiddo, is it alright to uh, put that voice text on that you sent me earlier? Or is it alright to use it on the channel, mate? I thought I'd ask you first, my friend. Hope you well, pal. You take care. Uh, I think he's at the same racetrack that Kev's horses are running at. Yeah, I think he's at the same racetrack this, this week. Uh, what am I doing here? I've got my seat in correctly. Have a look. But, uh, but yeah, uh, 21 minutes to go. The scent. But no, getting back to that. Uh, point I want to make is this, boxing has gone from being in a great place to in a little bit of a dark place at the moment, there's a few blips but it's always going to be the same in it, I'll always love it, I don't want to see it go underground and I definitely don't want to see people getting hurt, boxing is the only sport you'll get your brains shook, your money took and your name in the undertaker's book, that's what the great Joe Fraser used to say, now and that's true isn't it? So, but, like I said, there's a few things I'm not happy with. The Dillian White situation, I'm not happy with that. I'm not happy with the Bill Boxing Super Series. That just seems to be taking an age to sort. I'm not happy with you, Callum Smith's fighting. Billy Joe Saunders, I mean, where is he going, Billy Joe Saunders? Now, is he going to fight another bum? It's like that film, in it, 48 Hours with Eddie Murphy and Nick Nolte. I remember being in in shop one day picking a video because when I on a Saturday morning when I was a kid I used to be like ah oh, you know in video shop I was mesmerized I remember going into Blockbuster a few years ago and there were 48 hours 
another 48 hours and then the third one is it yet another 48 hours well it's a bit like this isn't it with boxing isn't it it's a bit recycled rubbish isn't it you know we've got Anthony Yard there he's gone from area level fighting nobody really system 9 and all of a sudden Anthony Yard is fighting Kovalev and you'd give him one round wouldn't you that's it, one round. Is that what System 9 is? You play possum for, 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 for nearly eight rounds and at the end of eight you come on strong and that it. And then you go back to taking punishment. What happened to all this better skills than Andre Ward? I don't get it. We were led to believe that he had better skills than Andre Ward. Better skills than Ward. He's got more power than Kovalev. He hits harder than Kovalev. Look, Carl Froch, right, I don't like to hark back to him, Carl Froch was well, icing people and he beat two former world champions and he beat uh, people like Tony Dodson, people like that, Alan Page undefeated, on his way to fighting for a world title. He beat Robin Reed and Brian McGee, they'd been in with Carl Zaghi and people had Ro Robin Reed beating Carl Zaghi. Carl Froch had a good grounding before he fought undefeated Olympian Jean Pascal, who took Diacono and Chad Dawson's O's, and he just took Marcus Brown's O at weekend, 11 years after Froch took his O. Do you see where I'm coming from? Well, so the thing is, learn your craft. Anthony Yard, I can't get out of my head. He may have learnt his craft, but he emptied his tank, so he'd not learnt his craft, had he? He may have been fit to do 20 rounds, but he gassed after 8 rounds. That's an experience. That's when you're sending a kid out who's dangerous. And how did Tunde Ajayi not know that Anthony Yard was a spent force after the 8th round? Round 9, round 10, and the bit what went on in round 11. He was a dead man walking. Why didn't his corner spot that? Why is he coming out doing 20 minutes, 25 minutes, 18 minutes and... What is it? 25, 20, 18 and a 16 minute and a 14 minute videos. Why is he doing interviews like that afterwards? Going on about the same old stuff. At least Joe Gallagher and Dave Caldwell go and hide when they lose. They big their fighters up, ruin them and then hide. I don't get it. I don't get it. I didn't mean to have a dig at Dave Caldwell there. I do think he's a good trainer, but what is he doing with anybody from debut? Tunde's had yard from debut, so he knows him better than anybody else. I'm a big advocate of that. Liam Cameron were with Chris Smedley from debut. They want ABAs, they want Commonwealth. And they're fighting in November. Liam Cameron's back. Good, good, look, good luck to Liam. I'm not going to go with Dennis like, but this is how I look at it, right? What have they done with anybody from debut? What's Dominic Ingle done with anybody from debut? I'm not about when he's done it and what he's done. I want to see these trainers start getting people from debut, from dot dom. From day dot, whatever it's called. But I suppose boxing doesn't allow you to go like that, does it? What's happening with Anthony Fowler and Jordan Gill? from debut. What's happening with them? Well they've been licked haven't they already? So people call it don't they doing a cold well. You know when you get a fighter like Chisora, like Bellew, like David Price. He got David Price didn't he? He'd already won British title. What happened when he went to Colwell got knocked out? What happened to Bellew? He got knocked out. Who did Bellew win? We call well who his best win? I don't know. Cleverly? Well that was for a belt? No. Well David A fights for belts? No. I don't know. We can pick holes in everything if we want to be negative. I want to be positive. Well boxing's not allowing me to be positive because I'm seeing the bad in it all the time. I want to see the good in it. Otherwise I might as well just fuck this off, aren't I? I'm getting sick of it now. We're getting sick of it. We're going around in fucking circles all the time. It's giving me Tourette. You don't get paid for your videos when you get Tourette, you know. When you swear, you don't get paid.
all you YouTubers out there. There's a button on it called monitorize. You don't get paid when you swear. Unless you've got time to edit it out, but I'm not bothered. You can keep the £2.40. Now, what I'm, what I'm complaining about here is where is boxing heading? What is System 9? And what, what, who, who's fighting who? Anthony Fowler, we, we were told massive things about him. You put him in with Scott Fitzgerald, he got torn to shreds, didn't he? On, in a 50 50. So, what? I don't, where's boxing going? What's Joshua doing? He's paid out another 2 million to Ruiz to get him to fight. That's desperate. Eddie would never do that, would he? Desperate. So he's took a challenge on, that's good. Tyson Fury, who's he fighting? Otto Wally, who's that? All I'm thinking about then is an Otter and a Wally. Rodney Trotter, a Wally. What, who, who is he fighting? You know, I'm starting to, I didn't want to go down this road, but Tyron Booth gets it right, doesn't he? And sometimes in his video, people send me extracts from him, and I don't watch them, because he's always digging out frots, but I see where he's coming from. Tyron Booth took a fight against Chris Eubank, who wanted a padded record, record all the way through to get to, to fight, you know, the main fight. So, I can explain it. Tyron Booth was winning fight, but he gassed, didn't he, because he didn't have a camp. Eubank's got all supplements, all best trainers in the world, and he's got a better lifestyle. Tyron Booth, he ain't, he ain't got all that, has he? And he nearly pulled it off, didn't he? So every time Tyron Booth sees Eubank in his McLaren with his big house, he must be thinking, you see where I'm coming from? Fine line between success, so... His videos are not my type of thing, having a go at people's... I, didn't like, I don't like to see them videos where he's having to go at disabled people and stuff like that and Down syndrome people, I don't... They're a bit close to knuckle aren't they, but... You know, if, if that's what, what he's interested in, that's what he's interested in. But getting back to his boxing... Well, the people saying he's got a big following, now why don't he come back and box again? Get a trainer and come back? He might change boxing on its head. Imagine Time Wolf coming back. You might get Carl Froch wanting to fight him. You don't know, do you? They could build it up into something big, couldn't they? But it is what it is, isn't it? But like I said, I'm not going to be like Ty and Booth coming out with things, coming out with something about Dave Allen and then saying, well, I like Dave Allen. Look, Dave Allen's conned his way to a fucking fortune, hasn't he? In boxing. You've got to give him credit, haven't you? But I'm asking, is this where boxing's heading? Where you're doing outlandish things on social media and you're chatting shit and getting paid. Is that where boxing's heading? Or do we need to go back to area level English, British, Commonwealth, European and world title? They're the six levels. If you're a professional boxer and you're turning pro, what level are you? We have three levels in one and three in other. Right, and there's not much between each one of them levels, but between these levels and these, there's a big difference. There's a difference between European and area, isn't there? Or world and English, or British and area. So what level are you going to be at if you're turning pro? If you're a boxer watching this now, ask yourself, what level am I? Am I area? Am I English? Am I British? I'm a Commonwealth European world. What level are you at? What level is Anthony Yard at? We don't know. What level is Dave Allen at? He's area level because he can't get a round off Price, Ortiz, White and Yoker. He never won a round against them. David Price has shot to shit. Yoker's a novice up and coming. Ortiz is world level. And Dillian White's world level. None of them have won a world title by the way, but... Dave Allen is area level, so really, he shouldn't be able to take a round off them, should he? Anthony Yard's won an area belt, and he's managed to nick a round, or just about, I didn't give me, but others did. Yard's nicked a round off a world level guy, hasn't he? So Yard's not area level, is he? He's not area level, he's higher than that. You'd probably say that Yard's British level. British level, but he got knocked out and didn't win another round out of the other ten. 
So he's British level, Anthony Yard. British level at the moment is Boatsy. Callum Johnson. They are British level. Frank Buglioni, he's won a British title. He fought for a world title. So you put Frank Buglioni as British level, wouldn't you? British level. Anthony Yard should fight those guys, shouldn't he? British level. Now, too many people lose the shit about what level they're at. For example, I don't know if I've got it on here. I think I might just have it on here. David Allen saying that if you mix him together with David Price, he would be, he would be a world level fighter. Now, I don't know if I've still got that on here. Let me have a look. No, I think I took it off. I think it did me head in. Because uh, I didn't agree with it. But he has got a tough chin, but he's been stopped twice now, though, hasn't he? So it's not that tough, is it? But uh, I'll tell you what I have got, though. I have got Spencer Fearon, who's a proper boxing man. He's on here. Should we put Spencer on? Or should we leave Spencer? We'll leave Spencer, eh? We'll leave him. We're not going to go backwards, we're going to move forwards. Uh, so that's about it, really. I don't know how long that video has gone on for there. Hang on a minute, let me have a look. Now, I don't know how long that video has gone on for there, but as I've just said there, I think the video has gone off. Uh, what I want to do is talk about levels for 21. That must have just gone on for 12 minutes then. I want to talk about levels and what, what levels are people at? There's what levels Anthony Yard at? What level is he, Anthony Yard? Anthony Yard's British level, right? He needs to go fight some of them British guys. He needs to. To do that, he's going to have to work with Eddie Earn. So, Anthony Yard is British level. He is not a world level fighter. David A coming out with all that nonsense. Yard is not a world level fighter. I'm sorry, but he isn't. He isn't a world level fighter. I'm very, very sorry, but he isn't. But, but, he might win a world title one day if a belt frees up. No, it frees up. But I doubt very much that he will beat any of them champions at the moment. Kovalev beats him, he just does. The other three are better than Kovalev, so he's not ready for a world title. Come down to British level, hoover up, have a few good fights with all them domestic kids, earn some big money, and then go back for it again. But you're not ready for it now. Getting back to this System 9. What is System 9? I don't know, is it where you find out what your levels are? I don't know, but it is what it is, isn't it? But what I want to see is, I want to see fighters now, I want to see them fighting somebody. I want to see people fighting somebody, that's what I want to see. I want to see people taking some risks. I want to see some risks took. That, I don't think that's... I don't think that's bad to ask, is it? Is that a lot to ask? Is it a lot to ask for me to see some people fighting in some risky fights? No. By risky, I mean 50-50s. Anthony Yard against Boatsy. Ooh, that's a risk, isn't it, Boatsy? If I get beat against Boatsy, or if Boatsy gets beat against Yard, where does he go? Well, you have a rematch, don't you? If he goes, if he's a barnstormer, fighters need to take risks. I want to see it. I don't want to see people protecting their holes. Is that what System Nine is, Tunde? Where you protect your hole? That's what this video is. What is System Nine? That's it. What is System Nine? Is System Nine right? Is System Nine the Dave Allen? of boxing where you just go out and you fight very 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 hard fights even though you're a journeyman you very you take very hard fights 
for as much money as you can and take massive risks. System 9, is that System 9? Or do you fight bums and wait until you get the big world title fight? Pad your record out with a promoter who's affiliated with a sanctioning body. Don't take any risks. Have all your sparring behind closed doors, if you have any at all, that is. Don't do proper punching on pads, just do pity pat if the cameras are there and confuse everybody and create this, like, this myth. This, and Anthony Yard obviously looks the part, doesn't he? Because he's always getting it all this. Right, or do we do that? What is System 9? What's System 10? Is, could you imagine what System 20 is like? Oh my God, Sunday, please put me out of my misery. What System 2 though? Answers on a postcard. I want to know what System 2 is. Does Frank Warren or Steve Bunce know what System 2 is? I want somebody to tell me. Does Chris Ogden, do you know what it is? Does the Stig know? What is System 7? Same number as Beckham Shirt and Michael Owen when they were at Man United. What's System 8? Martin at New Age Pod, Terry Chapp and Armour, Rico Andy White. Answers on a postcard. System 14, let me know. Well, I think all, all it is is a load of old jargon where fighters don't fight anybody and they hold out for big money. A bit like Kieran Dyer did when he signed with West Ham. He'd never done anything, never, never hardly played any matches. Gets his same fit when he needs a new contract, has a couple of good games, gets a fat contract. Is that what System 9 is? Where you convince the public that you're better than what you really are. Is that System 9? I don't know, but I don't care either. I'm up to here with it. I want to see people in fights. Proper, 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 proper fights. I don't think it's a lot to answer. I don't think it's a lot to ask. I don't think it is. I don't think it's a lot to ask. I just want to see proper, proper fights. I don't think that's uh, hard to ask, is it? Let's see some proper fights. Let's see proper, proper fights. 50 50 fights. Yard's got a loss on his record now, so he's not going to protect his O, is he, But He was protecting his O, then he gets in with Kovalev, and look what happens. Go back and learn your craft. You don't fight for world titles after 51 rounds. Each fight average, averaging 18 fights, averaging 2.9 rounds. It doesn't happen. I want to see kids getting fights against good name guys. And having a proper camp. I don't want to see Tyrone move. He rubs people up the wrong way, but he took a fight against Eubank with four weeks notice and nearly won, nearly pulled it off. What would he have done with eight weeks notice? What would Yard have done with another year under his belt? And Kovalev with another year on his belt? It'd have been a win money. Boxing's about timing. The timing were wrong for Tyrone Booth. The timing was wrong for Anthony Yard. The timing were right for Anthony Joshua though, wasn't it? They timed everything perfect for him, didn't they? Why is that? Because he's earning a millions. Gifted an, an Olympic medal. Gifted a Charlie Martin belt. He were gifted Vladimir's belts. Vacant belts when he fought him. You know, he fought Parker. Parker not be a champion. Gifts. Why does he get all the gifts? Why can Joshua have a baby to somebody? And why can and not and when it all comes out, it all gets so stuck. Then when he's caught, he's on beach with Daily Mail in Dubai. How did the Dubai photographer for Daily Mail know to fly out there? Joshua's tweets about Robert Mugabe being misunderstood. The guy slaughtered families and villagers in villages. People in villages slaughtered people. Misunderstood. What about that tweet? What about the Eddie Chambers tweet about the black superior race? All gets shut up, doesn't it? Dillian White's a pay-per-view star. His drug test going out at window. Liam Cameron got a four-year test for a pinhead of cocaine. An adverse finding. Four-year ban. Tyson Fury. Two-year back dated ban for free chargers. 
Three drug charges. One refusal, one nandrolone, one cocaine. Two year back dated, Liam Cameron, one charge, four year ban. I want to see it all cleaned up. I want to see boxing going in the right direction, that's what I want to see. I don't want to be messed about any longer. So this video is going to be called, What is System 9? Tunde, can you tell us? Get in touch, direct message me, we'll have you on the channel. Let's see what you've got to hear, see, see what you've got to say. So, what is System 9? Shout out to Climate Cool. Shout out to CS Raps of Mexpra, Nathan Lovell, thank you very much. Give Nathan Love, I think it's Nathan Love on Facebook, hello. Yeah, it's Nathan Love on Facebook. Uh, I think it is, search. I don't know how to work Facebook. Uh, Nathan loves CS Raps. If you need your rapping done, CS Raps is the place to be. Uh, if you need your air con, climb a cool. Nicholas will sort you out. So peace out. Keep on trucking. Keep supporting boxing. I'd like to think this video is positive. Is that Macklin? Looks like Macklin, that. I'd like to think this video is positive, Spencer, for you, and I know you're watching and not negative, but I want to know what System 9 is, or is it a Cockney thing between all you Cockneys down there? Is it Cockney or what? I don't know, London is Cockney, isn't it? I want to, I want to know what System 9 is, Tunde. Is it something I'm missing out on? Is it something I can tell Dennis's fighters about? Dream it, believe it, become it. What is it? Is it something to do with that, or is it just catchphrases and... You know, a bit of hype, a bit of PR. I don't know. Can you tell us what it is? Because System 9 didn't work. You won one round and got knocked out. So do you need to go to System 10 or System 8? I don't know. But I do know that you might have to go to Eddie Earn if you want the fights now. Might have to. But Anthony Yard, I think I know what System 9 is. I think I know it. You get a fighter that looks the part, he knocks loads of bums out, you get Adidas on board and Maxi Muscle and company cars and all this, and then you create this fake narrative that you're the B's and E's. That must be what System 9 is. That must be it. System 9. I don't know, but I'm confused by System 9. I'm really, really, really confused by what it is. So, yeah, I'm confused, but, alright, so peace out, keep on trucking. I'm going to work out now, punch bag. I'm working my ass off over there. See that bag over there in the corner? I'm going to be on there in a minute, so, boom.